Hi, my name is Guinevere Ray, and this is The Morning Dive. I'm from the Bay Area, and tonight we're playing poker underwater. The thing that attracted me to the morning dive shoot was I wanted a chance to explore more underwater. I'd done a couple of shots of me falling into the water and getting out of the water, but nothing submerged <laughs> underwater. And I've been a water baby since I was thrown in as a child, so I've always wanted to see myself underwater. And um, cool, thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. All right, I'll talk to you soon. I don't have any experience shooting underwater. I'm acclimating. I'm allowing my fingertips to enjoy a little bit of the, what it's gonna get after I get out of here. <laughs> I bet if I wear my glasses under, I might actually be able to see pretty well. Well, are you gonna wear them in there or not? Well, she said that I should, and I'm like, I, I don't know. They look cool, they look cool. Okay, yeah. they're kind of rad, huh? I am nervous because I feel like there's a lot of pressure to do it well, but I also feel excited because I feel like this is something that I have worked on in the past. So I want to actually get the professional footage of something that I know that I could do. But I definitely think there's going to be a learning curve and there's going to take, it's going to take a lot of skill to get the right breath work ready to actually stay under for a long time because this isn't just a 10 minute shoot. This is about an hour underwater playing poker. The way I prepared for this shoot was I've been hydrating with a lot of water and Gatorade and I've been going running and hiking three to four times a week just to get my breath work ready for this type of shoot. The advice I'd give someone who wanted to shoot underwater, prepare yourself for the cold. Even if the water is super warm, you'll probably still feel it because if you're going to be still underwater, you have to be able to allow your body to move and get used to it. Today, the biggest challenge was just syncing everyone up together. I think we all had different expectations, different styles. So it's just a matter of the first few times getting us all on the same page. And then once we all were on the same page and could all review what we were looking at, it was much easier to all come together to get the right shot at the right time. I found it hard to stay under the water. The natural inclination was for me to keep floating up. But once we got the bags down to keep us under with the weights, it was a lot easier for me to act with my holding my breath underwater. I'd say you have to have a lot of patience and you have to be able to be willing to put your body through a lot. You're not just acting underwater or modeling, you're actually an athlete. You have to be able to breathe correctly. You have to be able to not show how tense you are in your body and you have to relax your face as well. So it takes a lot of effort to get all those things right, but I think we all did a pretty good job. My experience with shooting with Mary on the morning dive was absolutely legendary. I mean, I've never had a shoot like this and she walked us through everything. She got us all in the same timing. She really took her time to be patient with us and walked us through every movement. And it was really quick once we got the hang of it. So it was something that I'll never forget. The way that I best act underwater was the first thing I had to do was just practice naturally. And then once I was able to watch myself, it really helped me tune into how I look underwater. So I was able to refresh what I was doing and correct some of the things that you could tell I was underwater. So for me, what really helped was practicing it, seeing it, and then correcting it and doing it better. <laughs> 